Hi, this is Jay with TDR Tuning, and from time to time the question has been asked, does a completely stock Mazda MX-5 actually experiences knock retard or KR? Well, to answer that question, we've got in our brand new 2012 Mazda MX-5, and we reset the ECU by disconnecting the battery, and we'll be monitoring, among some things, knock retard, so you can see for yourself. Now we have a dash dyno set up, and here we're monitoring knock retard. That's your long-term fuel trim, and top left you have your absolute value, and next to it you have your spark advance. Then we see a 1.8. We'll be taking a, about a 10 mile trip and of course we will make you watch the whole thing, we'll edit it so you see just the knock events. There's another one, 1.8, 1.4. One this is a question that has been puzzled a lot of us who tune cars and then we can observe some more. Because we've always tried to work out this knock retard that we get occasionally after a flash and as we can see it's something that happens even in stock cars and here we're just cruising along at highway speed there was one as high as 3.2 at around 60% load And here we are almost at the end of our 10 mile drive and we've observed about 7 episodes of knock retard, one as high as 3.2. So the answer to the question is yes, definitely. The stock NCs actually experience knock retard and this is probably just a fuel strategy in order to keep timing as high as possible. However, you will see this all the more so as soon as you flash your car because this resets all the trims or if you disconnect your battery. So don't sweat it, it should go away within the first one or 200 miles. Just enjoy your car and drive safely. Again, this is Jay from TDR where we'll always tell you the truth. Thanks for watching.